All right, so this is assuming off the sticky duel. This is assuming that they're not getting your neck and they've and they've now kind of given up and they're in a resting or holding pattern. So um, if I try to swim underneath his arm here, he'll drop his weight, and there's no way I can ever because that's what everybody does, right? Everyone tries to swim under here and then they get stuck. So there's no room here, so there's no need to swim here. So watch what I'm going to do. Uh, let's change the angle because I'm going to throw him right on top of you. Back up, yeah. So watch what I'm going to do. Immediately with the trap, with the sort of tap. Swim to the belt. <laughs> swim to the belt. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> so off the sticky duo, I'm going to bump the hip. So as I bump, I swivel my hip out. That makes a lot of space here. So I'm swimming to the belt rather than swimming to the armpit here. So there's two bumps, and you must do two bumps. If you try to do it all at once, it's not going to work. So I'm going to bump and swivel my hip. Bump, swivel, my hand's in now, if I try to bump up over here, it's not going to work. So what I need to do is I need to roll my back. The reason I roll my back is to load his weight. Now I can launch him. Catch his hip. We go over, and now we're looking to immediately start trapping the arms. So I bump, and I swing to the belt. Now I go back to my back. Why? Freeze. There's a gap here. Now his weight is on me. So when I bump him a second time, I launch him. And I'm also using the underhooking arm to throw him over as well. Now I catch the hip, and I'm up. Hand comes up to the gun, starts over and up. Now from here we can start to work. Now I go from side mount top to turtle bottom. Or excuse me, from side mount bottom to turtle top. <clears throat> side mount bottom to turtle top. So I swim to the bell, watch, I'm going to bump him twice. One, two, catch the hip. We slide up. Questions? So, give me one second, excuse me, give me one second, thank you. I'm going to bump in, bump in, turn, secondary bump. I'm up on my shoulders, notice I'm going to pivot on my shoulder the whole time. Bump. You have to do it twice. If you do it once, it's, it's, you don't load them, and you don't get enough of a off balancing. So if I bump them, say for example, and you guys go, ah, he's full of crap. <laughs> the reason I know is because I've done it and failed. Um, so if I go here, do you feel the difference? See, it's not the same as when I roll and I throw you off, right? So I'm, what I have to do is I gotta load them on my hips first. Load them and then launch them. Once you load them, once I'm under, here I do this. Just that little half tur quarter turn to my back. By grabbing the underhook and turning them. Now, if I turn him and I don't load him, it's not going to work. So if I get to here and I do this, but, there's, but he stays on the ground, it's not going to work. You feel that? So I'm going to have to kind of catch him. And I use my elbow here as well to kind of load him. You feel that, Brett? So I'm holding his body here if I need to. Most of the time they'll come with you because be, he's going to be so tight with his right arm. Tight, 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 tight. See? So by rolling, see, I kind of load you. If he's a little bit looser with that arm, I'm going to have to kind of load him. You feel the difference? I'm kind of holding here and here. And then once I'm here now, boom, I can launch him and I catch the hip on the way up. That's why, that's why they can't wizard. You went all the way, like, flat on your back? Or yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm rolling them flat and then doing a secondary bump. Uh, that's why he doesn't end up with a headlock. Do you understand what I'm saying? If I end up more on my side and I try to bump on my side, they'll, they'll end up catching the headlock. But because of the, sec of the load and the secondary bump, boom, look how high. I mean, his arm is way over there. So by the time I catch the hip and then turn the hip heist to my knee, see how I'm hip heisting here? This foot is up, right? 
my foot's on the ground, this one's up, it comes under. Whoop, I'm on my knee, catching the hip. Question. So it doesn't go underneath? Because at first you showed kind of where you make the space, so yeah. it doesn't go under? Mm -hmm. just... So my hand, watch the entry point. So first of all, it's the hand that's on the on his hand here, on the stick and do, or it's this, it's basically the top hand, top arm. Whether I'm here or here, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna bump, and now my hand comes this way. And now I look. Okay. Questions? Anything else? So there's two bumps. Go slowly. Don't try to do it super fast and do it all at once. Do it slowly. Bump, swivel, insert, roll, secondary bump, catch the hip. And as you catch the hip, that should help you climb up. When you catch the hip, you should put the hand on the ground. I can kind of come up to my knees all at once, but if you put the hand on the ground, it's going to make it way easier for you guys, especially the guys who are a little bit heavy. It's going to make it excuse me, easier, so make sure to put your hand on the ground. Go!